Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are uh, discussing today linear inequations, and this is the topic, uh, fourth topic. And uh, what we have to learn in this topic, let me discuss uh, one by one. So, first of all, uh, the topic is uh, let me write here linear inequation. Linear inequation. So, let me describe what is inequation. And thereafter, uh, we will discuss it. What is a uh, linear inequation and what is the use of linear equations? So, inequations. If I am writing as suppose x is equal to five, is an equation. Equation. Why? Uh, because it is an equal sign is given here. Here, equal sign is used to write used to write it. So, this is in equations. If I am writing x plus 5 like this is an algebraic expression. Algebraic expression. Expression. Right now, this is an expression. But if I am writing here x is greater than 5 or x is less than 5, then it is called it is called linear inequality inequality because here inequality is used so remember these three different things uh, one is equation one is inequation and uh, another is an expression so linear inequation uh, this is an equation because of the equal to sign. This sign is equal to used. Here this is expression because here is neither equal to nor inequal to inequality is used. So this is an expression remember. And x is greater than 5 or x is lesser than 5 it is called algebraic linear inequations. And why this is linear because power of x is 1. Similarly there can be quadratic inequations like uh, but there also there is a sign of less than or greater than. Sometimes a sign can be used like x is greater than or equal to 5 and x is less than or equal to 5. This is also called this is also considered as considered as linear inequation. Linear inequation. Right now? So what is the meaning of this exactly? Why this uh, linear inequations and what is this uh, meaning of this? Inequality gives the range. If I am saying x is greater than 5, it means uh, the, on number line system, there are infinite values which is satisfy this. If this is a number line system and here is a 0, if I am writing here, this is 1. Uh, or 2 or 3 or 4 like this 5 then greater than 5 is something or greater than even 2 because graph is small so I am just writing here greater than 2 it means this will give the region except 2 and all this region will satisfy all the numbers lies on this will satisfy here till where till infinity right now so infinite value can be obtained for from it all these values which will lie in this direction except 2 just greater than 2 will satisfy this condition right now so here the value will be can be 2 2.1 except 2 2.1 2.01 3 4 5 4.5 4.9 there can be infinite value so this will give a range, a region and hence the solution of this can be written as solution of this can be written as x is greater than 2 or we can write x is belong to 2 to infinity, 2 to infinity. So here one bracket is being used. If it is written that x is greater than 2, greater than or equal to 2 then the same solution can be represented like this. This will be a line and uh, here in this line there will be infinite 
because it can be extended at infinite distance. Similarly, here this can be also extended up to infinite. And say this is 0. Again, if I am writing here, this is a 0 and this one is 1, 2, 3, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this, 6 and so on. So, the solution can be here uh, described as 2 to infinity in this direction, number line represent like this and uh, that will be like this. Here the solution will be started from 2 and end till goes towards infinity. And here no this sign dark bubble you can use here hollow bubble is used here you can use dark bubble. It means 2 is included and any number greater than 2 will be part of this solution. So, here the solution can be written as x is greater than 2 or x belong to 2 to infinity. These are two different type of bracket is being used and what is the meaning of this bracket? Let me explain this first then thereafter we will discuss something more about on this. One is called open interval. Open interval open interval and another is called closed interval. So, what is an open interval? Open interval, if I am writing here x is greater than 2 and less than 3, it means x can have value or this can be same as written as like 2, 2, 3. Somewhere it can be also represented like this. This is open, like open door, right? So, that is also an open interval. All these things are representing all of the above represent the value all of the above representation all of the above representation representation such that such that the value of x the value of x is greater than 2 value of x can be greater than 2 greater than 2 and less than 3 and less than 3 but 2 and 3 are not included 2 and 3 are not included not included. 2 and 3 are not included. Right now, this is what said. Not included. Except to excluded. You can say excluded. Right now, not included that is excluded. So, value of x cannot be 2, cannot be 3. Here, if someone asks what is the least value of x, can you say? Can you say what is the least value of x? No, you are not able to give the right answer. If someone say 2, but 2 cannot be. Here it is written that 2 cannot be. 2 is not included. So, if someone say 2.01 is the list value. No, this cannot be list value because 2.0001 is lesser than this. Similarly, 2.0001 is lesser than this. So, it is not fixed. This is open. You cannot say that this value is a list value exactly. It is not fixed, it is an open, it has it is open bounded. Right? There is no uh, fixed value, list value in this. Similarly, what is the maximum value of x? If x lies between 2 to 3, nobody is able to answer this question because x can have value 2.9, 2.99 more than this, 2.999 more than this, 2.999999 more than this. So there is no fixed value. Neither upper limit is fixed nor lower limit is fixed and that is why this interval is called an open interval. Here boundaries are not fixed. So, whenever we have to represent this on number line system, then what to do? If you have to represent this on number line system, then you will write here this is an open interval and because 2 and 3 are not fixed, so I can write here represent like this here 
this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, like this. Here is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, like this. So, x is light between 2 to 3. It means there must be a line which is a uh, light between 2 to 3. But since 2 and 3 are not part of it, so we can write here in place of 2, at 2 we can write here an a sphere that is uh, we can write here this is the range and here 2 and 3 are open so we will make it like this this is open this represent open if hollow sphere is written it means 2 and 3 are not included and all the numbers between 2 and 3 are included this symbol shows the symbol shows that the symbol represent the symbol the symbol this represent that except this except this that is except 2 except 3 here meaning is this except this so 2 and 3 and that can be written either in this form or this form or that form so this is called closed interval and why uh, open interval why this is called an open interval because you know that uh, value is uh, lies between 2 and 3 where 2 is not what is the least value so least value is not fixed what is greater value? Greater value is not fixed. So that is why it is an open interval. One more thing and that I would like to tell you that if there is a zero say and the numbers are increasing this side that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly here the last number is infinity and infinity is not, not also fixed. Similarly in this side there is minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and this last number is decreasing minus infinity so infinity is also not fixed so why not uh, infinity to be also right in terms of open interval and therefore wherever there is an infinity being used they always used to write as an open interval because infinity is not fixed so wherever you will write use infinity infinity never be in closed interval it will be always an open interval remember here infinity this is called infinity infinity always written with open interval with open intervals intervals infinity always written with open intervals it is never closed right now so never closed remember this it is never closed never closed right now? never closed remember this so infinity is always an open interval so if greater than 2 till when till infinity infinite but infinity is always an open interval so this is what about open interval i hope you got this point right now so open interval now there is next point that is called closed interval closed interval and what is that let me explain that closed interval if someone is written that x is greater than 2 and less than greater than or equal to 2 and less than equal to 3 then that is called closed interval if someone write here like uh, let me write here closed interval closed interval second type of interval is called closed interval closed interval what is that so closed interval is if someone written here like x is the value of x is greater than 2 and less than 3 or if it is written like this 2 and 3 then this is represent this indicate the symbol indicate that x has least value 2 and greater value 3. The value of this uh, the above representation. The above 
representation generation shows that the value of x the value of x lies between between 2 and 3 where 2 and 3 are included included so the least value 2 and 3 are included so it is greater than x can be greater than or equal to or equal to 2 but less than or equal to 3 equal to 3 meaning is this meaning is this so remember this fact that uh, here meaning is x can be greater than or equal to 2 but less than or equal to 3 so here least value of x is 2 right now this is a fixed this cannot be more or less and greater value of x is also 3 that cannot be more or less than 3. So since lower boundary and upper boundary both are closed fixed and therefore this is called closed interval. I hope you got this point right now. So our number line system again if you have to represent like this say it's a number line system this is a number line system and you have to represent this then how can you represent this? Right? So that will be we can use it like a number line system. So that will be say this is 0. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and now uh, x lies between 2 to 3. So there will be fixed boundary that is 2 to 3 and x lies between 2 to 3. So you can write here that x lies between 2 to 3. So that will be in between 2 and 3 there is you can write like this and just to represent that 2 is also included and 3 is also included you can put here solid sphere that is a solid sphere it means that was hollow sphere and here is a solid dot right now so hollow dot and solid dot it means 2 is included and 3 is included and uh, otherwise you can just write it without hollow that that will be also more than sufficient to represent this so here are uh, somewhere semi closed and semi open interval semi the third type of intervals are called semi closed semi closed or semi open semi open intervals intervals what is this semi closed and semi open intervals what kind of intervals are called semi closed and semi open it means half closed, half open. Suppose if someone written like this, that x is belong to greater than 2 like this and 5 and this is an open interval. So this one is half closed, this side open, one side closed, one side open. Then this will be represented like how to represent this. It means value of x, this employee the value of x lies between x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than 5. Here lower limit is fixed. Here the least value of x is least value of x is 2. Right now that is minimum value. Minimum value we can say. Minimum value. But what is maximum value? But the greatest value is not fixed. But the greatest value greatest value of x is not fixed not fixed that is open so there is no maximum value hence x can have 
no maximum value no maximum value no maximum value right now no maximum value is fixed here is minimum value is fixed but maximum value is not fixed so how to represent them on a number line system and that can be represented by using this here this is a number line system and if i write here this is a 2 say 1 this is 0 right now this is minus 1 like that and 0 1 2 then 3 and then 4 and then 5 like this so if i would like here uh, to write this in uh, from 2 to 5 so how to represent them 2 to 5 i can write here like this x is greater than 2 and less than 5 so we can make it for 2 included and 5 page not included so i can make here just to represent them there is a solid sphere and there is a hollow sphere so here 5 is not included and 2 is included so this is the representation the another kind of things uh, is there uh, that can be represented by Suppose I have uh, it is given that x belong to greater than 2 and less than 5 then this employee lower limit is not fixed x is greater than 2 and less than equal to 5 in this case the least value of x is no there is no least value here the least value of x is 2 here the least value of x list value of x is not fixed not fixed right now there is no minimum value that is there is no minimum value no minimum value minimum value of x just it is an example x but x has greatest value greatest value or maximum value is 5 is 5 so here is maximum value is fixed but minimum value is not fixed right now so or you can say the maximum value is that is maximum value of x maximum value of x is is 5 right now that is maximum value of x is 5 so this can be represented on number line system like uh, here let me write this is a line and uh, here we can use this so here the x is not included so you need to write here open hollow square right now open square right like this and here since 5 is included so there must be a solid square solid dot or open dot so you can do like this this is a representation on number line system i hope you will understand this and uh, you understand this and you will use it uh, very clearly you know how what is meaning of semi open and semi closed and uh, fully closed or uh, fully open these are few intervals which have been used and uh, definitely it will uh, be uh, useful so there are two things you need to remember now just that semi open and semi closed means half one side is closed and one side is an open so it can be considered either uh, way that is semi closed or semi open i hope you got this point okay now uh, let us uh, think some basic uh, things about uh, inequality graphs of uh, inequality and uh, then how this x is greater than 2 if someone somewhere is written on number line system then that is this uh, on number line system the value of x is given but if the equation of x is greater than 2, suppose uh, represent graphically these what I have represented, all these representations are on number line system. So representation of inequality on number line system. The topic is here, what I discuss here, representation of value of x on number line system number line right number line now there can be graphical solutions as well uh, for x is greater than 2 if there is an inequality and which is written that x is greater than 2 
then what is the meaning of this? If I have to represent graphical representation, so let me write here graphical representation. Representation of an inequation and inequation of an inequation in a plane in a plane. Graphical representation. So, say Cartesian plane. If I am writing here, this one is Cartesian plane, and I want to draw this x is greater than 2, say. So, if uh, say this one is this is y axis, this one is x axis, and this is an origin. Suppose someone has given x is greater than equal to 2, then what is the meaning of this? Then in that case, a line x, you will have to draw a line which is represent x is equal to 2. This will be a line which is x is greater than 2, x is equal to 2. And x is greater than 2, it means there must be a region, this region will be there, all this region will be there which will represent x is greater than 2, right? So, this region is represent x is equal to greater than 2. All this region including on this line, right? Now, so, that will be greater than greater than or equal to 2 because 2 can be also value. So, if this is a line for x is equal to 2, then uh, x is equal to 2 is a line and that is origin. Here is 1 and uh, this is 2, so x is equal to 2 is a line, that is greater than 2. Again, I, if I have to represent that x is equal to 2, x is just greater than 2 but not equal to 2, then what you will do? If I have to plot here a line that x is just greater than 2 but not equal to 2, then what you write? And how you represent the graph of this? So, to represent then, this is y this one is x and this one is origin. You can plot a graph of x is equal to 2. There is no choice. You can plot a graph of x is equal to 2 right there like this. This is x is equal to 2 because this is 1, this is 2 right now. and this line is x is equal to 2. Okay. But here since x is greater than 2, so you need to represent like like this. This region will be there, but the line is because x is not 2 is not included. So, you can represent and this line is x is equal to 2, but you should write here broken line because this line, the value on this line is not included. So, that will be the representation of graph where x is greater than 2 and this will be the representation of graph where x is greater than or equal to 2 and that is the graph which is x is greater than 2. So, you can use this type of representation, this is a graphical representation. Similarly, whenever less than 2, then what we have to write? If you plot a graph which uh, represent less than 2, say this is a graph here, if I write here x axis, y axis and z axis, this is x, this is y, right now, and this is y dash, this is x dash, right? And if I have to write a line that x is less than 3, say x is less than 3, this is a line which is x is equal to 3. This is 2, this is 1, and this is 3, right? That is origin. So, this line x is less than 3. So, what will be that? Less than 3 means 2, 1, and all these regions. So, that will be x is less than 3 means there will be a region uh, which will be like this, right? So, all these regions are there uh, in this way and that regions will be not only here but in this side also all this region will be representing that x is less than 3, right? So, the regions up to certain times you have to represent that x is less than 3, less than or equal to 3. 
if this is a graph, then we can write this graph it represents x is less than or equal to 3. Similarly, less than y is less than 2. If I have to write y is less than 2, then again you can represent a graph like this here and there is x axis, this is y axis, x axis, x dash, y dash like this and y is less than 2 or uh, y is less than 2. So, y is 2 is this line say. This is a line which will represent y is less than 2. Uh, this is y is equal to 2. This is a 1, y is equal to 2 is a line parallel to x axis you know that. And since y is less than 2, so we can represent them like this is the region. This is the region. Y is less than 2 and less than equal to 2. This is nothing else but less than equal to 2. Right? Here, yeah, this y is less than equal to 2. And if you want to write y is less than 2, then uh, this graph should be here broken graph. It can be broken. Right now, y is less than 2. If there is sign of inequality like this, that y is y is less than 2. So, then graph must be broken that is dot dot and if there was equal to then it must be a solid line. So, this is what uh, you have to understood that whether x is less than 0 or y is less than 0 or x is greater than 0 all these graphs will represent the region basically the region. So, the representation of representation of line inequality in Cartesian plane representation of inequality in a Cartesian plane in a Cartesian plane Cartesian plane is a region a region which is not bounded which is not bounded means there is no boundary bounded right now so there will be therefore there for there can be infinite solution infinite solutions and all the values all the values lying in this region values lying or pertaining pertaining in this region in this region will satisfy the inequality will satisfy the inequality inequality right inequality so this is a two here is the graphs represent basically if I am writing here that x is less than 2, it means it is a two dimensional thing here x plus 0 y is less than 2. This is what the graph, right now. So that is what. If I am writing y is less than 2, it means x is 0 plus y, 0 into x plus y is less than 2. 0 into x plus y is less than 2. So, these are in two dimensional, two variables are there x and y since, since two variables, variables are considered and therefore the representation representation in two Cartesian, two variable system that is Cartesian system, two variable of a plane a represent a region, a region, right? And on number line system this is one variable. So, this is if representation in plane then it is a two variable. 
gave representation on number line, it is one variable. Remember this. So when we represent on number line, it is one variable. When we represent uh, in a plane, then we consider this in two variable system. So two variable and one variable. This can be anything, right? And representation of graphs can be like this. So till now, I hope you got all these uh, points clear. What is the open interval? What is close interval? How to deal with? What is the meaning of semi-close, semi-open? Number line system. Everything uh, is clear now, and uh, I hope you got all these points. We will discuss all uh, remaining things and some questions in the next uh, video after the break. So till then, keep watching and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much.